Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to the presentation. This is Sanita Mushfiq Nova. Today I'm going to present my project in a microcontroller based wheelchair for disabled people. These are the content I'm going to present in this presentation. There are so many types of wheelchair but based on the working principle we can classify them mainly into two types manual wheelchair and automated wheelchair. By using a manual wheelchair a person cannot move independently but the features of an automated wheelchair give a person freedom to move independently without other support. Before started making this prototype I have seen different types of electric wheelchair but those were very costly. This one is a mid-range joystick control wheelchair which costs 75,512 taka and the other one is more efficient electric wheelchair but its cost is 2,17,725 taka. We know that Bangladesh is one of the least developed countries and estimated 63 million people live under the poverty line in a country of 163 million people. Disability is primarily a rural phenomena in Bangladesh. 6% of people living in rural areas suffer from disability in comparison of 4% of those living in urban areas. Among these 6%, 27.8% people are physically disabled. Similar type of manual wheelchairs are available in Bangladesh. So we tried to design a prototype so that in future by using this type of manual wheelchair, we can make an automated wheelchair with more features but in an affordable price. Persons have different types of physical disabilities, but this prototype is de designed for those people who have lost their one hand, lost sensation partly or wholly of one hand, lost either one or both the feet, physical deformity and abnormality. The whole system is controlled by Arduino Uno for input and output feedback. Sensor is used for sensing the obstacles and Bluetooth module is used for manual mode operation. Actually, this wheelchair is made by a great ambition to give something good for disabled people, but scientifically, this prototype of the wheelchair is made by a good selection of materials and components. These are the hardware and software components we have used in this prototype. The hardware components are Arduino Uno 80 Mega 3 to 8, Bluetooth module AC05, ultrasonic sensor ACSR04, L293D motor driver, DC motor, servo motor Tower Pro SG909Z mini servo, robot chassis, power supply, breadboard and some jumper wires. And the software components are Arduino IDE, Fritzing, Pathfinder app and processing 3.5.2. This is the working principle of this wheelchair. An ultrasonic sensor is used to detect any obstacles ahead of it. Before I started to make this prototype, I have seen a project on graphical representation of data from the ultrasonic sensor represented in a radar type display. When the ultrasonic sensor detects any object within its range, the same will be displayed graphically on a screen. When it detects any obstacles within 30 cm, it indicates red color line, that means the object is detected. And if there is no obstacles within 30 cm, it indicates green line. Similarly, in this prototype, the ultrasonic sensor is mounted on the servo motor and both of them further connected to the Arduino board. The ultrasonic sensor uses the reflection principle for its working. Servo motor has a signal line which is connected to pin line of Arduino board. The rotation of the servo is done by generating positive modulation signal on its signal line. When I switch on the prototype, both the motors will run and it moves forward. During this time, the ultrasonic sensor continuously calculates the distance between the wheelchair and the obstacles in front of it. If the distance between the wheelchair and the obstacle is less than 30 cm, it will stop moving and rotate the sensor using servo motor to take readings in different angles. Here, the reading from the sensor is less than 30 cm. For that reason, the wheelchair stopped moving forward and started taking different readings by tilting the servo. 
while moving in the other directions again it detects obstacles in different positions in that case it changes its directions and the ultrasonic sensor continuously calculates the distance between the wheelchair and the obstacle in front of it and will turn to the side which gives maximum result after activating the Bluetooth, the smartphone will find the AC05 Bluetooth module, then it needs to pair the device. After pairing the device, it needs an application for controlling the Arduino Uno. In, in this project, I have used Pathfinder app which is available online. The app is for controlling the wheelchair. The smartphone is the transmitter of the wheelchair. It sends the data to microcontroller through Bluetooth module. It also helps to send instructions of forward, backward, left and right to the microcontroller. Actually, the smartphone is used as a remote of this system. In that working process, there is some input and output device. Here, the enter sensor, both ultrasonic sensor and Bluetooth module works as an input device and all the motors, both DC and servo motor works as an output device. The microcontroller thereby sends the instructions which helps in functioning of the motor driver. The Arduino needs a power supply which is provided by DC battery. The movement and functioning of the motor can be controlled automatically and by using Android based application software. For clash avoidance, we have used ultrasonic sensor to stop the vehicle if the obstacle is within 30 cm. The system would recognize the command given to it and hence would work or rather respond according to the given command. When the microcontroller detects go, the motor attached to the wheelchair moves forward. When the microcontroller detects back, the motor attached to the wheelchair moves reverse. Similarly, when it detects left, the motor attached to the wheelchair moves on the left side and when the microcontroller detects right, the motor attached to the wheelchair moves to the right side. When the microcontroller detects stop, the wheelchair gets stopped. In order to disconnect the wheelchair from manual mode, we have to disconnect the paired Bluetooth module. If the reading from the sensor at 90 degree positions is less than 30 cm, the wheelchair stopped moving forward and started taking the readings at 120 and 60 degree positions by tilting the servo. The positions of the servo will be at 90 degree at the beginning. If the reading from the sensor at 90 degree position is less than 30 cm, the wheelchair will stop moving forward. Then it turns right and left by oriented the servo. These readings are then compared and the wheelchair will turn to the side where the readings is greater. If the both readings are also below 30 cm, then the servo will turn backward. Before making this prototype, I designed another prototype which was only Bluetooth control. But the problem with that was if the Bluetooth stopped working, then the wheelchair wasn't able to move. In order to solve this problem, I added an additional features. Now, if there will be any problem while controlling it with the Bluetooth, it will move and avoid obstacles automatically. Social impact of this project is it is affordable for rural people, it is easy to use and less risky. There are some drawbacks of this project. The drawbacks are it is not able to climb the stairs, movement on rough surface, it moves with the small bumps and the high friction slowdowns the speed. Future of this project it will be an open source and low cost project and my future plan is to make an automated wheelchair which will be both joystick control and obstacles avoiding but in an affordable price. Thank you.